Introducing the lady who loves the red carpet treatment. Direct from Hollywood, the sensational one, the fabulous one, the self-proclaimed executive producer of the show, Lana Starr. And now that's how you do an introduction, David McLean. I'd just like to welcome you all to the Lana Starr and Mike Ram show. Everyone, welcome to the Mike Rand Show, and today's special guest is from Wow Women of Wrestling, the fabulous one, Lana Starr. Hey, Lana. Hi, Mike. Thanks thank you. Me. Thank you for joining us today. We're so happy to have you here. Yay. So, what I want to know right now is how did a fabulous girl like you get started in Wow Women of Wrestling? Well, I was always a huge wrestling fan since I was a little kid and um, an agent sent me on an audition and I was waiting at the audition and there was all these girls there and he was calling me and he's like, leave, leave. And I'm like, why? And he, he's like, they want you to be a wrestler. And I'm like, uh, yeah. And he's like, oh, I thought they wanted you to be like an announcer or a host. And I'm like, I've always wanted to be a wrestler. So I stayed and I made it through all of the like, training and the cuts and then I realized like it really hurts <laughs> I don't know why I grew up thinking that it wouldn't hurt and so then when I got there I was like this isn't what I thought it was at all <laughs> <laughs> so did you watch wrestling growing up yeah all the time I was like a huge fan of uh, you know Brett the Hitman Hart and the Hart Foundation and Shawn Michaels and you know, Macho Man. Like, I was a little kid and I loved wrestling and I loved football. So, yeah, I was a weird, I was a weird little girl. <laughs> <laughs> so, what was the audition process like for you? And do you, is there any girls that you auditioned with there that actually made it onto the show with you? Uh, so, the audition was like, they put you on camera and they asked you just, you know, a bunch of questions and, um, I don't exactly remember everything they asked, but I actually recently saw some Polaroids that they took from it. I was like, oh my God. <laughs> and uh, I think like Jungle Girl um, was at the same audition. Some people came later, like Loka. I think somebody told her after they already had a cast and they then brought her in. So that, I don't really remember. It was a long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> So what was the training process of, like? How did they train you for the show? So Selena Majors and Peggy Lee Leather, um, you know, every day we went to the forum in Los Angeles and we trained like for hours every day, you know, bumps and rules and then all the moves. And it was like five days a week for like three hours a day every day. And it was, it was kind of intense because it was for a really long time before we ever were on TV. Yep. And how did you feel the first time you actually stepped in front of a crowd, that very first match that you had? How did you feel? Don't remember what the very first match is, but I always remember, and this has been through the history of WOW with me, that they always give me <laughs> like 10 pages of things that are like, go say something like this similar in the ring. And I'm like, you could have given me this two weeks ago. Like, and so I'm literally like looking at 10 pa pages of stuff that they want to get across. Like, Make sure you hit this, 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 and this. And I'm like, um, I'm going out there in 30 minutes. I'm trying to remember what's going on in the match. And then they want me to do like some like monologue in the ring. So I was like almost every single time, including up until now, like, nervous and it's only because of all that if I could just go out and be like say whatever I want to say then I wouldn't be nervous at all 
What was your favorite match over the years? So WoW started in 2000 and then it, it went away for a little bit and then you came back and now it's in a resurgence again. Is there any match or matches that stand out in your head that those are particularly your favorite ones that you've done? Um, so I liked tagging with Patty Pizzazz back in the day. Um, you know, it was pretty fun because we were just like, you know, with, we were watching like the Hardy Boys back then and we're like, let's try this, <laughs> like something the Hardys do, <laughs> and it's us. So that was kind of funny. But um, more recently, probably like my match with Jungle Girl, I really liked. And um, I learned a lot working with um, Spike. Um, she, she, you know, she taught me a lot of stuff where she goes by Hudson Envy on the Indies. So I don't know, probably one of those. <laughs> <laughs> and, and who would you say was the most fun to work with out of all the girls that you've had a match with? Is there anybody that, um, definitely you trust in the ring that definitely puts on a good show when you two get together? Um, question because I really loved working with Kitty um but we didn't wrestle each other but we had so much fun like we were just like goofy and in real life we're friends and so I like that but I mean in the ring I like work I like working with you know Jungle Girl a lot yep and you you and Jungle Girl were definitely um, two of the originals, you're, you're my two favorites. You've been there from the beginning, so I definitely love you two when you guys get together. And what I've noticed lately, I, I don't know if you've noticed this or not, but I mean, you're a heel, and you've been having battles with a lot of heels instead of the good girls. Is there any particular reason they've been doing that to you? I feel like there's just a lot, one, there's a lot of heels, and I don't know. Um, <laughs> two, I think they they just want me to lose all the time so they're just letting every other heel like get over on that. <laughs> yeah you, i have some words about that yeah. <laughs> you yeah. do have the distinction of um being the longest reigning wow women champion that you defeated terry gold um terry gold is from my hometown danbury connecticut and I just learned that from your Instagram. Yes. <laughs> I got that in so long. So, anybody, you all need to follow Mike because his Instagram is freaking awesome. I'm like <laughs> always doing these like Q and A's, and I'm always excited if I get something right. But I got that question wrong. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I saw that. I was laughing. I was like, Lana got that one wrong. <laughs> I Googled it first. <laughs> So you do, do you have your little dog in the background? Is Sasha back there right now? It's Shasta. Oh, Shasta. Oh my God, I'm sorry. Shasta. Come here. Come by me. She's not little. She's big. Yeah. <laughs> Hi. And now I heard a rumor that this is an award-winning dog. Is that true? Yes. We have a lot of her ribbons right here. Shasta, look. <laughs> we have lots of ribbons. <laughs> what what kind of dog is Shasta? She's a Weimaraner, so she's a hunting dog, and she competes in AKC sports. Well, that's what we do on the weekend. <laughs> How long have you had her for? Um, like three three years. Ha, is she three years old or is she older? No, she's older. So I had one previously that passed away, and I was in a Weimaraner group, and she was two. And her owner actually passed away a week after my dog passed away. And I was like, I think it's meant to be. I should take this dog. And then this dog is crazy and nothing like my other dog. <laughs> but, but she's a really good competitor. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of competitors, um, what, what is your favorite move to do on your opponents? Oh, I love the face lift. Like, that's my signature move. And, I mean, it was actually a move that Chris Jericho did, and I just kind of took it from him and modified it a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to give you a choice now. If you could Wait, do... I have Chris Jericho hair, I just realized right now. <laughs> like, in the old days. <laughs> if you could do the facelift, hit your opponent over the head with a mirror, or 
an arm bar, arm bar. And your three choices are Spike, Jungle Girl, and Beverly Hills Babe. Which one would you do which move on? Spike, Jungle Girl, and Beverly Hills Babe. Yep. <laughs> well, yeah. One would get the face lift, one would get the arm bar, and one would get hit over the head with a mirror. <laughs> okay. So, I would do the face lift to Spike, just because, I mean, I don't know. I would do the arm bar to Jungle Girl because she would, like, freak out if I did the arm bar to her, and she would never expect it, and that would be really funny. And I would <laughs> the Beverly Hills babe over the head with the mirror because she would, like, lose it, too. And so she'd be like, like, Beverly Hills babe, and it would be so funny. <laughs> <laughs> now, you've had many personal assistants over the years. It seems like Lana just can't keep a personal assistant. Nobody's keeping up with you. Um, we're going to just quickly, I'm going to name your personal assistants, and if you could tell me maybe one thing they did right over the years working with you or a favorite memory of them. Um, one personal assistant we're going to start off was Poison, was your first personal assistant. Oh, man, that's hard. I don't remember anything she did for me except maybe, like, turn on Randy Rara. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Randy Rara. <laughs> <laughs> and then after <laughs> this person on Instagram that writes me all the time and asks me the same question. What about Randy Rara's eye? And I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> but they ask me that all the time and they think it's so funny. <laughs> and and then definitely one of my faves who I think has obviously one of the best theme songs. P A T T I P A T T I Patty Pizzazz. <laughs> Patty Pizzazz. So tell us a little bit about Patty Pizzazz. Oh, you know what? She was actually really good. <laughs> um, she was a good personal assistant. She did a lot. Um, kind of miss her. <laughs> would, would, would you rehire Patty Pizzazz if you had the opportunity today? I might. Okay. She would be a contender. <laughs> then after Patty, you had Kitty. Tell us about Kitty. Okay, Kitty, Kitty was really good too, actually, but she kind of has a big mouth, so she would get me in trouble sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> but she would be a contender to be an assistant again. <laughs> <laughs> then after Kitty, you had Beverly Hills Babe. <laughs> so I, lo I love her, but she is not a very good personal <laughs> assistant. <laughs> you know? Um, she more would kind of want to, like, take over, like, Lana Star's life, and I'm not having that. <laughs> <laughs> Which brings us to Faith the Lioness. Tell us about your new personal assistant. Uh, she's good. <laughs> <laughs> but she's really, um, I guess she's a little bit independent. And that doesn't always work when you're looking for an assistant. <laughs> uh, it, it, it looks like Lana may be having a new personal assistant coming soon. Yeah, I've always got a list, you know, <laughs> maybe like rehires or new hires. <laughs> <laughs> so outside of WOW, you've done some other things. You've done some modeling, some acting. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Some appearances that maybe you've made outside of WOW? Yeah, um, I do acting occasionally and auditions. Um, I've been reoccurring on the Jimmy Kimmel show. I do skits there. Um, I've had like little parts in some movies, um, like Iron Man, and then, you know, some independent like, horror movies and TV shows. Uh, I do, I just, um, I'm going to be on a show coming up called The Family Business. So I think that should be airing anytime soon. It's the second season. I play a mob wife. So that was super exciting for me. It's something different. And I had to have an accent <laughs> instead of, you know, playing my normal role. <laughs> so tell us three things that we don't know about Lana Star. Three things. 
So I'm a minister. I could marry people. Um, what else? I just told you that I compete with my dog. <laughs> and I'm actually uh, a professional poker dealer. And I um, play poker too. So that's three things. <laughs> okay. And then tell us what type of match that you haven't been in that you would like to see in WOW? Ooh, that's a good question. What kind of match would I like to do in WOW? Um, have we done a three-man tag team? I would love to do that. I would love to do that. Me, Beverly Hills Babe, and somebody else. But I can't say because I can't. <laughs> But you might see something like that one day, but we have to wait for the next season. <laughs> yeah, there's a few different type of matches I'd like to see. I'd like to see another Battle Royal. Oh, yeah. Because you weren't a part of the first one. No, I wonder why. Yeah, they didn't have you. I was kind of upset about that. And, and that was for the belt, too. <laughs> too big of a star to be around all those people. <laughs> <laughs> so ho so hopefully we can get a battle royal in there. So put that in David McLean's little ear. <laughs> Let's get a battle royal going. And then what about um, WWE? Do you watch wrestling nowadays or any of uh, the independents or anything like that? No, I don't currently watch. But I mean, I mean, what I see on social media and things like that. But I, I mean, I've gone to a couple of shows recently. So I do know some things that are going on. Okay. And then how do you think uh, women's wrestling has evolved over the years? Oh, well, there's like so much more of it. So, I mean, it almost feels like 50% is women now. So that's kind of cool. Yep, definitely. And um, what is something that you would like to say to your fans today? Anybody who's watching out there? Um, just, you know, thank you, all the people that have been there, you know, since the beginning and that continue to be, you know, WOW fans or Lana Star fans. I think that's awesome. And all the new people. I love you all. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that's Lana and the Lana Star, regular Lana. Lana Star would be like, of course, you're all my fans and you're the greatest because you're Lana Star fans. <laughs> Exactly, and never underestimate Lana Starr. Ever underestimate me. <laughs> <laughs> How is it that fans can get in contact with you after seeing this interview if they'd like to follow you on social media? So I have a Facebook. It's Wow Lana. Um, my Instagram is, I have two. I have my Lana Starr Instagram, or I have Miss Lana Ashley. I have Twitter, which is Wow Lana, and I also have Twitter Real Lana Star. There's All right. One. Well, thank you very much for joining us today, Lana. And thank you guys for watching the Mike Rand and Lana Star show today. So hopefully we'll do this again some other time and bring Lana back. And thanks you guys for watching and we'll see you all soon. Bye everybody. When demanding Lana Starr says, Dan, do it, damn it, I do it. <laughs> Never underestimate Lana Starr. Ever underestimate me. <laughs> <laughs> You know, she's got a history of terminating people for answering questions or doing things the wrong way. Listen, I've never been her assistant.